Hello everyone and welcome to the new 3D printer vlog here. This is vlog number 8 and uh, currently we are going to be doing a little bit of, trying to do a little bit of machining tonight. At least we're going to set up the Proxon table if anything. Got the uh, jig and everything ready. And uh, yeah, we have progressed quite a bit since the last vlog. As you can see, we're pretty much done with printing here. So assembly is coming soon and uh, let me try to fish for the jig real quick. Oh, there we go. So. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Pretty simple little piece. And um, I do apologize for the weird noise that's happening. That's my new lens. Uh, I think I bought the wrong lens. It has supposed to have like the uh, the autofocus. That's just the, that's what that sound is. But yeah, I bought the older version of a lens I was wanting to buy. Also got all the parts in. So yep, all of this. That's just some rubbish. So I should this. We got the glass bed up here. PEI bed surface tubing, electronics, components, hardware, everything is in here that we need. So, yeah. That's um, that's about it for home base. I'm printing off a couple more pieces here now. Hopefully, we should be done with printing this weekend. All right, folks, we're back at the office here. What we're gonna do is uh, the bottom mounting holes for the Proxon drill press, or sorry, not the drill press, the compound table. They're, too, they're not wide enough. So we have to drill them a little wider out. So I have to figure out where they'll match up with these holes here. So I just get out my calipers, start measuring things. Okay, so that's 82 millimeter by 48. I think 75 would be fine. It'll give us comfortable space on both ends here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, change out our bit here. Went ahead and countersinked it. The kind of that didn't actually film me doing it because uh, dirt. Yeah, I'm tired of my hands looking like some sort of freak show. What happens is after a while, all this chemical crap, I start giving you weird dermatitis, and yeah, that's never really too good. Actually, I want to use a smaller bit on that right now because it's not matching up with the hole just yet. So you always want to start with a small bit. And just work your work way on up and just make sure your drill bit gets seated in the chuck proper. Okay, visor's down. <music> Guys, I cannot recommend these drill bits enough. They are Chicago Latrobe. I'll go ahead and I will put a link to these in the description. Now the laser side on these, um, my personal view is that they kind of work for a little bit. You can realign them. It's kind of, it's pretty easy to do it. Although they will not stay aligned very quick, very often, especially if you're doing metal work like I am. With uh, machining out the drill pressing the uh, compound table for the drill press. I like how the tools are working to improve the other tools. It's beauty about all this DIY stuff is, yeah, you just there's just so much cool stuff. Like it's 3D printer, you can print off improvements for it, which of course I've done many times in the past. I can't remember, I don't think I've done anything in this video to print off for the Creator Pro. I might have to create more of the, or print more of those bed supports. I think they're getting a bit too soft. We gotta make sure we got a good clean mating surface. There we go. Looks like everything's squared up nice and good. Now we just need to find some good bolts for this. Listen. I think I left the um, jig back at home along with everything else, but that is good and sturdy. It's on there. Yeah, she ain't moving. I call that a win. All right, folks, we're back at the house here, and just 
just want to let you show you all here. I did manage to find the jig in the uh, X J head bolt. It was in the tool bag. No, not in the tool bag, in the camera bag. And I got the rest of the stuff, the uh, proper drill bit, the uh, fittings to test, all that good stuff, all that good jazz. There we go. I think we have like four pieces after this. So yeah, about four pieces left. And hopefully, that's a pretty cool shot. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this will be one of the last prints here. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to be about it here. Thanks for staying along with me in this episode. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, hopefully, should be a bigger update. Uh -huh. There's not a whole other plan besides just the 3D printer working. So Mike gets the office. I'm not 100% sure about that. But we will definitely work on finishing all those parts for print, which I'm hoping I can get everything done in one fell swoop here tonight. Because that would be freaking awesome. So catch y'all later. More than likely it'll be tomorrow.